Bureau of Corrections Chief Nicanor Feldon says he merely followed the guidelines of the Good Conduct Time Allowance or GCTA law. He says he now regrets having done so. At a Senate hearing Monday, September 2, Feldon says he consulted with experts on the measure. The former customs chief also admits signing an August 20 release order for Sanchez, but clarifies the release did not push through. I signed a memorandum of release is starting the process of uh, the release of any PDF. That is not the release order because after my office, it goes to several other office, and finally it will go to the superintendent who issues the final release order of, uh, yeah. of, of the PDN. But you are uh, in that process, Your Honor. I stop it because I need to review again the GCTA granted to him. But Senator Risa Honteveros says there are indications the GCTA system could be favoring powerful and influential inmates. Sanchez et al. were not random beneficiaries of the retroactive effect of RA 10592. Ang lumalabas po sila ay pinaboran. Special treatment ikanga. I'm talking about this system of quote-unquote GCTA for sale na ayon sa mga prison insiders ay talamak ngayon. The controversy broke when the Justice Department revealed rape and murder convict Antonio Sanchez was supposedly among the 11,000 inmates up for early release. In 1995, when he was mayor of Calawan, Laguna, Sanchez was sentenced to seven terms of reclusion perpetua for the rapes lay of UPLB student Eileen Sarmenta and the murder of another UPLB student, Alan Gomez. The Philippine National Police or PNP believes they can arrest released convicts again without any warrant if the release of heinous crime convicts due to the GCTA law is revoked. PNP Chief Oscar Albayade says the police is prepared to deploy tracker teams to account for prisoners who have been released. 